we have division by powers of 10. So how we do this? We have to check how many zeros we have in our number. We have one zero. So when we have division, we have one zero, we have to move decimal point one place to the left. When we have division, we move to the left. So let me copy this number. We have here one, seven, two, five. We have decimal point between seven and two. Like I said, division. So we move to left. And how many places? One only because we have one zero. So we will go to the left one place. So decimal point will be between one and seven now. So the solution will be 1.725. When we divide, we move to the left always. And how many places? We count the zeros. One zero, so we move one place. And next example, we have division, so we have to move to the left always. When we divide by powers of 10, and what else? We have here two zeros. It means we have to move two places to the left. Let me copy this number one more time. We have 0 0.489. Like I said, we first count the zeros. We have two zeros. Go to decimal point. We move to the left because we have division. One, two places. Because two zeros, we move two places. And always empty spaces we fill by zero. And decimal point as before. The second zero. So our solution will be decimal point zero zero four eight nine. We can write that this is equal. We can always add whole number is zero empty space so we can write zero point zero zero four eight nine. Doesn't matter if you write the solution or that are correct. They are both correct.